Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. I'm going to put resin on the vase and then drip alcohol ink onto that and see what kind of fun reactions we can get. So I have this vase on a cup turner and that will just prevent everything from running off. And I pre-cleaned this, I took the label off and then I, I cleaned it with uh, just some alcohol. Get any dust and prints off of it. I'm going to just spread the epoxy on here. All right, before I apply the alcohol inks, I am going to torch it. Now, when you put alcohol on it, that will get rid of air bubbles, but I'm not sure that I'm going to be covering the entire thing with alcohol. So we'll go ahead and just get it torched. Now I'm going to go in here with my alcohol inks. And I have uh, two different kinds here. I've got Ranger, and then I've got the Pinata. And I'm just going to have some fun with it. I'm going to try not to overdo it. But if I do, I'm not going to worry about it either. Because I can always put a clear coat on top of this. So I'm just going to go ahead and have some fun. Okay, so that's pretty well covered. I really like this. At one point, I realized that if I didn't just squeeze it on there, if I actually like kind of shook it, it would get these really fun splatters. I do want to try one other thing to kind of see how it will react, which is to spray some of the isopropyl alcohol on here. And this is mixed with just a smidge of teal mica powder. So let's see. I think this will have some fun reactions. And I am correct. <laughs> All right. So there we go. Um, at this point, I'm going to let this rotate overnight. It is going to change. I don't know how much or how it will change exactly. We won't know till tomorrow. So let's go ahead, we'll let this dry overnight and see how it looks in the morning. All right guys, we're back. So I let this dry all night long on the turner and then I took it off. It's still at the like, be careful with it stage, but it's dry. Let me see if I can get you guys focused in here. Look how pretty that is. So this is a vase, but you could put lights in it I think and it would be gorgeous to make it into like a lamp. And I used a ton of wild colors, but you can use whatever colors you want, be more subdued. I think I will put another just clear coat of resin over this to help for UV protection. But I'm really, really happy with how this came out. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you all next time. I just took that same clear glass vase and I spray painted it white. I think this is just going to give a bit of a different look because you won't have that transparency. So I'm going to turn on this cup turner and I will answer all the commonly asked questions as I start to coat this with resin. I just am using maybe about two ounces, maybe even less, somewhere in between one to two ounces. Uh, I'd say closer to two ounces. And I'm just going for covering this with a nice even coat. Make sure you get the bottom. I have this on a cup turner. I get the cup turner from Amazon. The foam arm that is on here comes with this cup turner. However, if your foam does not fit whatever you're trying to do, like your cup or your vase or whatever, um, you can just search cup turner foam on Amazon and find all different sizes. You can also get pool noodles from the dollar store. Those can work for some projects. There's lots of ideas. All right, so this is pretty well coated. I'll add just a little bit more. So in looking at how much resin I had mixed up, because I mixed up a little bit extra for some other projects, I used about two ounces. So that officially answers that.
I'm going to torch this before I put on the alcohol ink. And this is just a little burns matic torch. You can get it on Amazon. Um, you can also just use like a culinary torch. You can also use a heat gun if you have that. And this just gets rid of the air bubbles and also heats up the resin. I'm going to start applying the alcohol inks. This time also I'm going to be a little more deliberate with my colors. I'm going to be using some Ranger inks and some Pinata. And I kind of discovered a couple different ways to do it. One, just drip it on. And two is to kind of sprinkle it like that. Look how fun that is. Gives you this really fun pattern and some different sizes of drips. So I will list the colors that I'm using. I didn't do that last time, so I'm sorry, but I'll list all the colors that I'm using in the description. And I'll go ahead and speed this part up because it's basically just repetition of that. All right, so I've got this mostly covered. I used primarily blues and greens this time with a little bit of purple. Now the last time I sprayed some isopropyl alcohol on it, which made this move around. This time I actually want to try something a little bit different and hopefully it doesn't mess it up, but I want to take the, a heat gun to this and see if that can actually just move the resin with the ink in it. All right, awesome. That created a pretty fun effect and got everything kind of moving. So that I is that's looking pretty cool. All right, this is gonna continue moving for quite a while more until it's dry, basically. So I'm gonna let this rotate overnight and we'll come back tomorrow and take a look, see how it looks then. We're back the next day. So, Here's how this one came out. I am absolutely in love with it. Definitely a different look using the heat gun versus spraying it with alcohol. I think we got some really cool patterns. So I'm in love with this. Really fun and easy technique. You don't have to let the white show if you wanted to. You could put alcohol ink over the whole thing. I kind of like that white peeking out. And of course you can use any background color. So totally up to you. Let me know down in the comments which you guys prefer, if you like the white background or if you prefer the clear background. And stay tuned for at least one to two more videos coming up using this technique, but in some different ways. Got some awesome ideas, and I will see you all next time. So we're back for the next video in my series with the resin and alcohol ink on glass. Today I'm doing a wine glass. I've taped off this top edge. Now this isn't meant to actually stop the resin. I'm just not gonna put the resin up that high. I'm gonna only go maybe a little bit over halfway. And I'm going for the stained glass kind of look here. I'm gonna just carefully, starting at the bottom here, now I don't want like an I don't want a solid straight line. I want it to be a bit random up here at the top of my resin. And I'm gonna make this for my sister-in-law. She loves teal and gold. <laughs> so that's what we're going for here. I'm gonna guess on this, I'm gonna use maybe an ounce of resin. All right, I've got that covered. I'm going to torch. Now I'm going to start to apply the colors. So this one is Ranger. It's called Stream. All right, that gold had some really interesting effects in there. I kind of like it, though. So at this point, I am going to take some isopropyl alcohol, and this has a teal mica powder in it, just a tiny, tiny bit, and it's 91% alcohol. This is important when dealing with resin. You don't want to use lower percentages if you can help it. And I'm just going to lightly spritz it. 
which is going to give us some fun effects. All right. <laughs> that was quite a bit. Cool. So I'm going to let this rotate throughout the night and it should be dry by tomorrow. We'll come back and see how it looks then. I'm already super thrilled with this look though. It It's probably better than I actually expected. So we'll see you back tomorrow. Here's the wine glass completely dry. I am so in love with this. I think this is my favorite in this series that I've done so far. It's, I'm so excited about this. It's not even funny. Um, I've been trying to kind of go for the stained glass look and I feel like I'm getting closer to that. And I think that gold worked out perfectly. I was a little worried it would overtake, but I think it's amazing. So I will be putting a clear layer of resin over this just the same way that I did. I'll tape off the top and just make sure we got a nice even coat over that. And then it's all done. So let me know what you guys think. I'm going to show you it without so the paper towel in here so you guys could see it a little bit better. I'll show you it without that. I think it's so, so pretty. Let me know what you guys think and I will see you all next time.